Man, last thing, my levels were super low. Supersonic. You just love showing your age, don't you? <laughs> Come over a little bit. Ah. Did you grind it out today? Did you? And today's gonna be a it's gonna be a doozy of a topic. <laughs> Hey, what's up? I'm Rashad. And I'm Keisha. Hang with the Joneses, episode 65. You wanted to say four, didn't you? No, I didn't. Yeah, you Get out my head. Like, no, 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 no. You definitely he didn't know what episode. I, I did. I had to remind him. Lies. Lies you tell. But yeah, thanks for coming through today. Of course, Monday, 10 a.m., new pod every week for the most part. And really interesting episode. Of course, you should already be subscribed. Yeah, it's just the, the best thing to do. And I want to be real, real, um, real honest about this topic today. It's a little bit weighty, and I'm trying to hit this from an angle of um, something that's, you know, kind of in, in pop culture right now. So I ha- I'm forced to watch this show on on o- the Oprah Winfrey Network, aka He's Own, forced. called okay. um, Family or Fiance, because like I go to sleep around tennis, and I'm in the bed, and this is always on on a Saturday night. He don't go to sleep around 10 ish because he's trying to stay up to watch Saturday Night Live. And I fall asleep every time. So I'm really trying to fall asleep then. Mm-hmm. But the lights are on. And you know, I can't sleep. This is beside the point. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> interesting episode. This with with um, season two, episode number 12 of Family or Fiance, um, Sayota and JD. This episode was super sad. And just spoiler, just spoiler alert. Like the um the doctor didn't even let them go through the proceedings for the final. Cause but let's back up. So recap for some who the show might be new to them. If okay. you having um having maybe girl problems, girl boy problems, and you bring your family in, son. be quiet. You bring your family in. Um, so the man will bring his family in, or it could be two women, two men, whatever. And your partner bring their family in too. And they'll speak and talk about why they have, um, they don't, they have concerns about the partner or the relationship. And at the end, the whole concept of usually these individuals are engaged and planning on getting married. The whole concept is to get the family member blessings. Um, so they have different techniques or different games all to make it commu- open up the lines of communication. Right. Um, so that's the whole premise of the, to bring up two families who don't agree with the marriage um, to have them agree and give them the blessings. That's succinct. Thank you did a really good job. Okay. This episode we were watching, we watched last night, this particular couple, it's just was, it was a hot mess from the jump. So, First, we have um, JD. He is essentially uh, a dream deferred because <laughs> yeah. he wanted to play football and he got with his girl. He quit football because the girl cheated. The girl cheated on and this him. This is the one that he was is engaged to now. So this yeah. is his fiance. His fiance. Girl fiance. cheated, so he's like, I can't play football because I need to watch her. That uh-huh. should be the first red flag. And right now we're doing red flags on social media. Mm. <laughs> that should be a red flag. Um, other thing was a red flag and this is okay. I'm going to say it. And then kind of, cause it sounds like, Oh, uh, another red flag is that his mother just up and left. Um, and yeah, we'll ma- several things will make the red flag is one. They never talked about it. It was just come home. Mom's not there and never came back. It was just kind of like, Shh, don't talk about it. no, like my legit when they get, like some cigarettes and never came back again. <laughs> it was crazy. And it was like, don't talk about it. It was like, what? And it was like, this doesn't bother me. But you can tell, I mean, just for the example, he quit his football career to follow and make sure that this girl wasn't cheated on him, which is clear signs of abandonment issues. Yeah. So and we're going to get back to that in, in a second. Mm-hmm. So outside of that, then there's, of course, the female, not even, let's, some more context. Okay. The um, JD is clearly black, and Sayora is Uzbekistan. So there is also a cultural difference with these with this couple too, uh, which kind of played out when it came to the dinner. And the, it was three very headstrong women that was came with with um, Sayora. Yeah, and she brought her mother and her. 
her two mo- sisters? No, her mother, aunt, and her, her sister. sister. Yeah. And he bought his, his father, dad, brother, his and brother, sister. And sister. Yeah. yeah. So they were really, really not down with it and was really trying to figure out, like, what are you going to do to, to provide and be the man? Because in their culture, like most cultures, which are on patri- with our patriarchal society, even though we're trying to top of that down right now, they were very much the man should be doing the work, bringing home the money, providing and supplying things for the household. Mm-hmm. And Fan may had no job. He didn't have. Um, he didn't finish school. He didn't and finish I'm, school. honestly, in the beginning, I thought they were on him because he was black. If, if, I'm be, I'm, man, in if, the beginning, it felt like that. It kind of felt that way because they had no problem. Um, and he was like, "I'm trying to build my career. Like I'm trying to build my business." Yeah. Never quite say what the business was. Yeah, was yeah, it? yeah. Real estate. Okay. He just got. Estate. He just got his um his license, license. and he's and about to close on a deal. Right. Yeah. And they had problems. Like they had problems with that, but they have no problems with their daughter being um essentially being on having an OnlyFans account. That's that's so what, being suggestive, <laughs> sexual suggestive, and you have to pay for it. I don't know if you want to say soft porn or no. It's just it's OnlyFans, definitely OnlyFans. OnlyFans, but what they what's she doing up there? That's what I'm. That's the yeah, whole point. A, oh yeah, yeah. Oh it's yeah, erotica. yeah. Yeah, she um shaking my hand for for some right. dollars. So it's I don't know, it's like soft porn or whatever. But it seemed like they had no it problem is. with her shaking her behind for some change. Nah, something and, strange. And, and it was. <laughs> And it was on on the premise of well somebody gotta do something because somebody ain't work it's like right. you gotta make money so you gotta do what you gotta do which also was in this relationship funny. she stepped out on him and she actually cheated yeah so yeah. this made him even I feel like the, those issues was like ah, like she couldn't go nowhere without him but he didn't have a problem also with her doing these videos. <laughs> Yeah, because he was helping too. Media. Yes, he was recording. Which I mean, to be honest, which is a lot of the case. Because think you think about it, especially if you're doing something that's like, not I got my static camera up and mm-hmm. I'm in front of it. It's like you moving and stuff. Somebody's recording you, so yeah, there has to you, be. There got to be a second shooter. Okay, no, but it, it can't be, especially when we explain how it erupt. You can't have two situations. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I understand. Because you can't be mad at oh, that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. the same I, thing, you recorded her with other, and you're right, with other member, men, women, whatever. I ain't disagreeing with what you're saying. I'm not disagreeing. I'm it just. Was like, it's like, yeah. it, was, he, it was a walking contradiction. Yeah. So I was on like, Black Lives Matter. You just doing this to my man. After the end, I was like, yeah, because like, cause, cause, <laughs> because cause fam was really calm. He wasn't like, he was. Early on, really doing his best to answer and be respectful. And my heart went out because she stepped out. I was like, and he remained in the relationship and trying to make it work. So I and like, I just was like, yo, like they's like super grilling him. So, so after they, so begin episode happens, they come in the house. Everybody's super hype about being in California in the mountains and this be just the, the mansion is beautiful. Mansion, yeah. So they sit down, talk about what their concerns are, and after they have their concerns aired out they usually have some event where the um the, f- the fiance goes with the uh, opposite family and vice versa and they have like you said before some sort of game or activity that will allow communication and jd had to do this thing where like they put they threw questions in a hat and all his questions was like yo Where's your job? Where's your job? Why you, going, you got a job? <laughs> how why you make you, money? How you went <laughs> why you finish school? Yeah, it What's was you? Yeah, are you going to and this it sounds like a stereotypical role. She was stripping because she was working on her master's. No, no, no. She was working on her, her law degree. On her LSAT, yeah. Yeah, she's working on her law. I was like, it sounds like a really... I'm just doing this for school. And then... The, <laughs> wow. And then and then crazy, because Desiree recognized her. She was in the Bad Girls Club, yeah. too. And she, yeah. So it's like... I didn't know that. I, I mean, because I, I don't watch, watch that crap. No, that's, that's, yeah. So it was like reality show plus OnlyFans. So the thing about it, especially if she was on on that first, then all the people that was watching her from Bad Girls Club are then reverted over to her OnlyFans, creating revenue for mm-hmm. her. So for that line of business, that's the smart move to do. And it made her look bad. But if you're on the bad girls club, that means you have a problem with, you, you know, your hey. behavior. Hey. You shake it, you know, your body for money. It, so it made him kind of look good. And at first you didn't know he was recording it at first. Until when they did the um, 
when they did the reverse, when it was her time with his family, and she made it aware, like, yeah, I do this. They was kind of like, what? They was like, do he know? She was like, he records it. And yeah, he, it was kind of like, ah, oh, like, like, yeah, he helps me. Like, what? So it was kind of like, what? You? But he was super, super jealous of her. Then later on, it goes down the line where um, she was she changed her clothes, and the guy came in to mic her. And he was sitting beside her like, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, because she, um, like you said, she lifted lift her, lift her dress up. up. But she said, no, I wrapped a towel around me first. And then I lift up my dress so he can put the mic on. Yeah, and then it it, it, it took a hard left for it, me because he got basically he abusive. got abusive. And he, I yeah. thought he hit her. Um, yeah, I and I don't know because they showed it off camera, but you can hear her say, stop grabbing me, get off me, yeah, get off me, yeah, get off me. Yeah. It, it turned very abusive. Yeah, and I was, I like, was oh, like, no, man. she needs to leave. Yeah, this. It's, it's not and a good look. She left. At the end, she actually left. But the, I guess to kind of talk about this, you know, in this situation, what is, it, what is it that put them together? Because, you know, clearly he has abandonment issue, and that's why he's like, your mind's. And then his mother left. And he like, we don't need to talk about my mother. But then you have someone who, your fiance, and she steps out on you. But then you like, okay. But you know that abuse that went on? That wasn't the first time. It's a, if he nah, because was... he, and then like, 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 like an idiot, he took her mic off, left his mic on, and then his camera's well, everywhere. The camera's so everywhere. like, fam. and it looked abusive. He was like, "Get my like." It was it was harsh. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. wasn't like, "Can I have your mic, please?" That's my. It was hard. And then they had everything off camera, but you can hear it, yeah, it was so, very abusive. Yeah, it was very like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde the behavior. Yeah, if I can explain it like that. But yeah, definitely not appropriate. So they ended with them the the she parting ways. It. She ended it, and, and he begging. To keep it, and he's you know with his like weird cadence and something like something about the way he talks mm -hmm. really was concerning for me. But well, until then, you never actually heard him. As that's he was, but that's what I'm that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like yeah, like his 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 cadence alone, it felt like he never really verbalized coming up. And the only time he really talked was when it was like sports or when he had to at school. But like him, like actually communicating, there's not a lot of because people don't talk like that, mm -hmm. that, that, that communicate. And, see, and even, OK, like the relationship, even when they brought his father on, um, his father was they was like, do you really want to talk about this? And you could just imagine the issues that you come home and your mother is gone and you never heard. But apparently the father doesn't know where the mother's at either. That's like she the just crazy goes part. To them and they're married. Yo, that was the craziest part. Like, yo, she left and never came back. So he never actually healed from it because, one, we're going to act like th this elephant is not in the room. We're going to act like we're just going to keep walking around it, but not addressing how things can play a part. In our life. And I know a lot of people like childhood issues, childhood issues, you know, when you grown, that should go. And I'm half part part of it. I'm in between one. One, your childhood issues <laughs> develops you and make you. Very to true. be honest with you. Um, some baggage in people may be carriers because childhood issues. Yeah. However, I'm so once you become an adult, you can't keep saying mom, dad, childhood issues. At some point, you got to work through it. some point, you got to decide, okay, I'm going to need to heal from this. I'm no longer going to make this the reason why I don't, you know, succeed in one area of my life. Yeah. And apparently, relationships, he's not succeeding in that because when they came to, let's talk about why your mother, we don't need to talk about it. And I, and I that bothered me because it came for the example, in another show came the example, another black man won't get help to heal what's really going on. It's easier to put on a cool, a smile to look cool, look good. Cause, and, but none of that really matters. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't need to talk about that. That don't bother me. Yes, it does. Cause she can't go two seconds without you kind of like, ah, oh. yeah, but you being on super on top. Yeah, it's literally, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's really sad. And the, but then we go back to the, the con, you, dichotomy. Dichotomy. Thank you. All right. You don't want her to go anywhere without you, but you record her and exploit her to other people, long as they pay. In 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 their minds, it it makes sense. It's a business. You know what I'm saying? Vagina for profit. So I don't I, I don't really. Okay, 
going back to this whole issue you said about like men are dealing with their stuff in regards to moving on as an adult. Mm-hmm. The 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 thing that people really don't understand and realize is if you don't actually get the help, be able to talk about it, talk it out, even if it's just you and your family talking mm-hmm. about it and actually dealing with it, then it's going to be the thing that was always there and you're acting out of something mm-hmm. and you don't even really know what it is, but you're just doing it because that's your norm. And that's the scary part because th- this this situation, even though it's extreme, is more often than not. It's more often that people not talking about stuff, that people are just yeah. being very quiet about it. I mean, I was talking to my um, little brother yesterday, and there's some situations where I have one, this side of the story, he has the other side of this story, and now we have a complete story. But we would have never known Talk. how how we felt about it or like you know how he felt about something unless we actually conversed about it mm-hmm. so and that's like you know and this is stuff that happened like 20 25 years ago so it's it's, it's right. really you have to be mm-hmm. able to, to to open up and really communicate aside from actually working <laughs> out me. the trauma especially in this case mm-hmm. the abandonment because if you if you don't i mean come on Keisha, people don't even realize what that is i would say that people don't realize that even been sometimes been hurt and just even thought what i know and i hear this a lot time heals everything that no, is it a does lie from not. the pit of hell time that heals church yeah i did right? yeah yeah time it can actually make it get worse time doesn't heal so by you just saying okay i'm gonna leave it alone day one mom's gonna be gonna act like day two week one year one 20 years later it still feel like the same day that mom walked out Time does not heal anything. Actually, it got worse because now, as he was a little kid, he's starting to react as a grown li- as a lion. Now, <laughs> I can destroy stuff when I'm angry. Yeah, you know. So time, time I always say time plus work equals healing. That's what makes things get better. But time, time does not heal everything. For example, if time heals everything, why do we have childhood trauma? There should be none because time passed by, so it should be over with. It's not the case. Uh, so I was just like, oh my gosh, the the thought that an important person would just walk out. And the re oh, go back. The reason why mom walked out is the same. It, it's just amazing how things come around. Like he's like we say cycles or generational curses. The reason the mother left because her family yeah. didn't accept the father because she, um they wanted him to be a lawyer or a doctor and he wasn't i'm not sure if they say he ever finished school either i think he played football i think okay he played football they wanted someone who's a professional not professional athlete they wanted like a lawyer a judge a you know, surgeon something like that so she left because the family kind of pulled on was like you need somebody who's going to be a professional and look how the cycle it and that's the same thing that was just the LaFonsa family had an issue with I don't yeah. want you to be a real estate agent I want you to be in somewhere where I can get a consistent now don't get me wrong because real estate some people are coming in with million making millionaires billionaires off of real estate Yeah, they didn't want that for her and plus he never finished school even though she might have been stripping <laughs> she's in school and I was like what <laughs> that doesn't even go together but the uh I want to say with her, I'm glad that in this situation she finally got out of it. I don't know if it wasn't on this. Well, go back. They actually got back together. Yeah, they broke up several times. They broke up and they're back together. But I wonder what's going on behind closed doors when there isn't no camera. No, you're not mic'd up. Yeah, um, it's it's a mess. It had, and I wonder if it's physical. It it. I, I wouldn't want to say it is, but if it really it feels, feels like it feel. is, Unfor- unfortunately, I mean, it, 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 it was definitely emotional and verbal. Um, and I felt like I felt like it was physical. Too. It takes a, it, it takes a lot not to, especially somebody who is emotionally inept as he is. It takes a lot for somebody to have their feelings hurt and not react in anger. You know what I'm saying, and then be, and then take that anger, and then and then get physical, because that's usually the the cycle for the average man. Like you see, people getting in fights all the time because what their feelings got hurt, and they don't know what to do with that anger. Right. So it, it, unfortunately, that's yeah, it, it probably is. 
Yeah, even the cycle. I'm not. Sh- I hope later on they go back and look at how the cycle, because the father never told him how to process his feelings because he never learned either. Yeah. There's a, even the therapist was like, so she just left. He was like, yeah. He's like, so you don't know where she at today? No, no. she gone. It's like what? And he's like, you never remarried? Nope. Nope. They still married. <laughs> But it, it's weird. It's like he never processed. So, of course, with the son, he never learned how to process his feeling either. But, however, once you became an adult, at some point, you got to say this is not working. Yeah. And even um, the sister from, from the beginning was like, yeah, I'm here to be the mediator. Mm-hmm. So she would have had, had to take on the mom role for them. And that's what happens a lot early of on. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. it didn't show her, but I wonder how did it impact her growing up? Her relationships, yo, her personal not, life. Yeah, her not having a mom or having a having an absentee mother is is cru- is is crucial in in, mm-hmm. in in development. It's it's different. I mean, we know people who who that's happened to, and like their development, it's not really, it's it's not as 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 um traditional when it comes to like mm-hmm. a mother daughter relationship. Mm-hmm. It should be. Sometimes the since even if the the oldest even the daughter might be the youngest, you that daughter might become the mother, become parentified. So now it's their responsibility. And then but the trouble comes is when sometimes when she wasn't like that, she was super cool. But sometimes when their brothers start dating, it's a problem now because this is mine, it's my son, I got them. And it's like, no, you're a sibling. <laughs> and then it's maybe a hard time for them to move on with their lives. You know, so I I really wish they didn't stay together. I really wish they um, went to counseling first and worked out for her. It has to be some insecurities, something in there. And then on top of that, like there was no mention of her father. No, she, and it was, she had all women that came, and he had his sister. Yeah, but it was it, it wasn't no mention of her father at all. And it's like to have all this high criteria. But something's for a man, missing. and your <laughs> man ain't even around, or not even like they won't even, they didn't even talk about him, and have all this criteria for a woman, but his mother gone. It's it's crazy. It man. was like so. It was definitely the parents reliving through their children. So definitely, definitely some hurt within the parents that they did not address either. Um, and I, I, I knew. Because also, when there's domestic violence, they said a person leaves 10 times before they leave for, for good. And I was like, she's going to get back with him. And sure enough, a month later, they was back together. Now, I said they were still apart. No, they said they got back together. For real? Yeah, they were back together. I don't know. The said, I thought the inner credit said the opposite. Mm-mm. They got back together. Dang, that's mm-hmm. crazy. And it, uh, uh, abandonment issues. It, abandonment, i.e. childhood issues, it can really play a part in your in your current life, your present, your future, and can destroy relationships. And I don't want, I'm not giving him an out because I think it was abusive. He he is abusive. I was like, what happened if somebody would have told him or he would learn how to um, express himself? And I think football was the way he did express himself. But he gave, because, you know, I have all this negative energy. I can go on the court and I can legally tap feel, somebody. Feel, 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 feel. Yeah, in the court. <laughs> I can go on, on the field and I can I can tackle somebody and it's okay for me to do that. But when you're in the real, real world, you can't just like, ah, boom, I'm going to yeah, drop Yeah, it. you can't be just like, you know, running through women like that. Right. So then what do you do with that anger? And unfortunately, when it comes out, it's the same way that it is when he's on the field. But you, you get in trouble for that. There's so many levels to this. Um, just this one episode. That I was like, yo, like, I feel like this is definitely kind of needs to be talked about. Like, even when people get together and not really have a firm understanding of themselves and then try to merge with somebody else, it's a recipe for <clears throat> it's a recipe for disaster, mm-hmm. like every time. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it's just by the sheer grace of God that we're even still together. I mean, like <laughs> this shouldn't this should have never worked. Like some some of the stuff that we deal with, are dealing with, have dealt with. Most people would have been like, "Man, I ain't doing this crap no more." Like it's like like marriage is so hard. Like we told before, ain't no days off. 
You can't take a break from marriage. It's, it's every day. He don't. We don't get no hall passes. Nah, it's, it's none of it's none of it's, it's none of that. That is not polyamorous. It's it's just us, and it can be very daunting, and and sometimes damning to to think about like, yo, like how am I gonna fix the situation, or why do I say this, or why is it like this way right now? And you have to yeah. really be able to be honest with yourself honest with your spouse and then if you as a person can't really resolve it then you need to find and seek help from a yeah. professional you know and what i'm that, saying it's, it's, it's very serious about you don't want your children to repeat the cycles you, you you don't want the children to repeat the cycles so at some point you got to say hey because your your children is going to mirror it and they're going to make it clear and you can't say well, what's wrong with them you no, you wrong with them. Remember that commercial? I learned about watching you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the drug of a PSA. Right. Learn from you, Dad. So even you no, know, some parts, everyone has something. Some part I want to clean up for me, and I want to clean for our marriage, but also my children can't repeat it. Cycles are broken. And then even with that, I want them to go further and in the next generation to go further. You, you, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But some things, it's like uh, and abandonment issues. It's one of those things that if you don't get it right, it, it's going to get right some way. Yeah. Not the way you want it. Yeah, you're going to get left. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good stopping point. Yeah. If you've been here the whole time, you are the real MVP. We thank you. Um, like I said in the vlog, nothing really popping off this week. Uh-oh. NSU Homecoming was here. Yeah, NSU Homecoming. We um, beat the brakes off of some unknown college. No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> knew who the heck they was. I ain't never heard of them. So that was a gar- guaranteed dub. Appreciate that. Shout out Spartan. Shout out Spartan Legion. Behold. Oh, I'm going to tell you too. What? Spartan Legion is going to the Rose Bowl 2023. 2023? Spartans. I am NSU. Wow. I'm trying to go. Definitely. Where is it? Pasadena. Cali? Yes. Um, yeah. To Cali, Cali. Yeah. Hey, last time I've been, it was 2000. So, yeah. I, I never went. Yeah. You know it's a five hour plane ride, right? Mm hmm. All right. Just get your mind right. Either way, we'll see you guys next week. New pie. Appreciate you all. <laughs>